So welcome to Black Birch Vineyard in Southampton, Massachusetts. To my right is Ed. This is Mary, Ian, and I'm Michelle. Uh, we planted our first vines back last year in 2010, and we plan on opening our winery next year in 2012. We've been friends for about 10 years now, and we hope to uh, grow together our friendship and uh, produce good wine and, and share it with everyone. Well, let's start in March 2010, when Ian, Michelle, Mary and I sat down for dinner in the house. Uh, they came over to watch American Idol, and, <laughs> and there, I had some wine books on the kitchen table. And Ian says, what's this? And I says, well, I've been toying for a couple of years with doing something with wine, and, and I was thinking about planting, and, and uh, I said, my problem is I have a hard time pulling the trigger these days. And Ian jumped up and he said, let's do it. Last fall we put up about 12 different varieties of grapes in, in maybe 15 or 16 different styles. Uh, that's why you see so many of the, the different uh, uh, carboys and stainless containers uh, and we also have more in another room. But uh, trying to source grapes, experiment with grapes and see what kind of wine we can make, uh, especially I think we, we spent more time this past year working with the, the hybrids and trying to figure out exactly how to make the wine and, and we're happy with our results. You can see behind us here um, the uh, small what we call carboys uh, containers, uh, even these smaller containers of 200 liters and 100 liters. Um, we try to keep things small here um, with our um, uh, varieties. It allows us to spend more time, um, it allows us to uh, think about each uh, type of wine and, and what needs to be done to get it right. This barn is what was a woodshed for the farm here, and um, it was a working farm up until probably the 1980s, maybe 90s, late 80s, I guess. And um, so this upper section we hadn't been using. We had been using the lower section just to store our cordwood, um, which we do heat with, and our greatest source of heat comes from black birch, which is where our part of where our name came from. Um, it's a post and beam construction that happened somewhere probably in the 1860s. Um, the house is from 1860. And um, so most of the structure is original. We did put a new floor down. Um, and we have an option to expand the tasting room a little bit wider if we need to in the future. And we hope that we do. Thanks for watching. And come visit us soon at Black Birch Vineyards in Southampton, Massachusetts.